What's going on, Graveyard Shift family? It's your fearless shift leader, Dalen Clock Did. Y'all, y'all said y'all wanted to talk to the Nanas, so your boy is back in, what is this like? Well, I guess what part of Atlanta would you call this? It ain't really downtown. Maybe like Edgewood almost area. <laughs> but we're here, y'all, we're here. We haven't spoke to the Nanas in a minute. In a minute. Uh oh, so the gates are closed. The side gate might be open. Then. Trying to get that right oh, I think they're closed. They're closed, guys. They're closed. I think they're doing repairs, maintenance. Got you, got you. We're working hard as we can. Hopefully, this be soon. Okay. Okay. So, y'all, you guys are, are closed, huh? And you don't know a date that y'all are going to be back open? Maybe Saturday. Oh, okay. So, as soon as maybe Saturday then. But you have to look on the Oakland Cemetery's website. Yes, sir. And it'll kind of like give you a better update than what I'm saying. Got you, got you. Okay, appreciate it. Thank you. Well, y'all, it seems like the Nanas are going to be resting for a few more days. <laughs> We'll come talk to the Nanas next week. So I think I'm just gonna Google a nearby cemetery. Maybe it'll be a place we've never been to. And let me see what we can find, y'all. <laughs> hey man, y'all know what they say. Shifting ain't easy, but somebody has to do it. All right, Graveyard Shift family. I Googled the nearest resting community to where I was and I found this place called the Sylvester Cemetery. I have never been here before and it's over there. Where, where's my hand? Can you see my hand? <laughs> it's over there and it's another, I don't know if this is the same resting area or another one, but yeah, let's look around real quick. I thought this was interesting. This is the very first headstone that I saw when I pulled up. This is the Warren family plot. Right here, I saw this stone. Looked like it's kind of like, I don't know what type of stone that is, but it's very pretty. It says the infant son of Mr. and Mrs. J.M. Warren Sr. January 19th, 1934 to January 21st, 1934. So he was two days old. Love, love, love. I hope you're resting well. Let's see who's resting over here. We have Otto George Warren, Private First Class Infantry, World War II. Otto, appreciate your service, brother. March 17th, your birthday the day before mine. <laughs> you got a birthday coming up. Happy early birthday. You have Marguerite Page, 1907 to 1945. Okay. The grounds are definitely kept over here, but I wanna go look at I want to go look at the Sylvester Cemetery that's across the street. Let me see. My nose is itching. God, me. Let's see. Alright. Why did the ghost hunter cross the road? <laughs> to get to the other cemetery. Duh! Y'all don't try to steal my joke. <laughs> don't try to steal my joke, y'all. <laughs> it's copywritten. <laughs> All right, here we are. The Sylvester Cemetery. Oh, wow, that's fairly large. Okay, it says, as many of you know, the Sylvester Cemetery was founded in the early 1830s as a graveyard for the early settlers of East Atlanta. After becoming almost totally overgrown and almost mostly abandoned, 
Local volunteers came together and reclaimed the cemetery property in 2003. Okay. Okay. Let's take a look. Has a flag. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> so it's like, hey, buddy. Ooh, he better be glad Tito and Taco ain't out here. Ooh, Tito and Taco would have been on him. Here we go. Okay. Good old American flag. God bless America. Them the only three words I know, y'all. <laughs> Them the only three words I know. This is a very, very interesting wrestling community. Very, very interesting. I never knew this was back here. And it sits, there's houses all around the resting community. And they're all sectioned off. Like every section has like its own group of people. Like here's one section with maybe, you know, 20 people resting. Then over here's another section with another group of people. Like these stones are old. Like you can't even see what's written on them anymore. So here's, you can read this one. Okay, that one says, the infant children of NH and MW Terry, the infant children, golly. Now, Y'all, okay, hold on, I know, I know. I am truly at a loss for words. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this. Okay, this is what I stumbled across. I apologize for just, <laughs> like I was trying to process it. So this is the Terry family plot. Terry family plot, right? Sectioned off. See, I walked in from behind there. So this is Newton Harrison Terry. He was born on Christmas Day, 1858, and passed away the day after my birthday, March the 19th, 1923. Then you had... His wife, Marietta Faith, she was born November 2nd, 1863, and passed away February 16th, 1903. Now, look at this, y'all. Look at this. L look at this. These are the infant children of N.H. and M.W. Terry. All of these are the infant children of Marietta and Newton. Y'all, look at this. Look at this. Excuse me, y'all. The infant children 
of NH and MW Terry. So you have HTT. You have PT. You have GT. This is infant children of of Terry, of the Terry's. You have, I don't know if those are maybe footstones or if those are other markers. Here you have M E T. Over here you have N H T. That's, I think that might be the parents. Then you have K E T. E A T. And this is per Peril and get in. Carl Terry, they were born December 17, 1891, and passed May 26 and July 28, 1892. Y'all. Then you have Katie Terry, August 3rd, 1886 to November 21st, 1888. Then you have Emmett Terry, October 25th, 1881 to October 13th, 1882. Y'all. This man and woman, just from headstones alone. One, two. Okay, so that's the head and foot. So that's just, that's one, two. Here's two more, Pearl and Carl. So that's three, four. Henry, five. So that's about that's about at least five or six children. At least five or six. Because I don't know if those four in the back are a couple more. That is wild. Oh my gosh. And the oldest one was two. Wow, blessings to that family. Blessings to that family. How do y'all feel about that? What do y'all think about that? My head started hurting a little bit over here. Blessings, I hope everyone in the Terry family is resting well and peacefully. Terry family, I hate that you had to go through all of that. Dang, here's some more Terry kids. Hold on now. Okay, so here's some more of the Terry family members. W.M. Terry and what does this say? Ella Terry, 1854 to 1926, 1858 to 1922. Then over here, you have like four kids. Here's one child. The headstone is wearing. You can't really tell the dates. I think they might have been one. This has the lamb on it, so you know that's a child. Wow. Yep. 1881 to 1881. These are four more children in the Terry family. Four more children in the Terry family. Oh no, here's another child. Infant son. Another child. Y'all. How can that many children pass away from one family? I mean... Granted, back then there was probably a lot of sickness and, and you know, medical attention probably wasn't the same. Well, I know it wasn't. But was it normal for that many family members 
that many children to be passing away in one family. Like it almost feels like, you know how they say like some families are cursed. I wonder, was that like, a, I don't know. What do y'all think? I'm gonna see if I can ask. Let me see if I can do a spirit box session over here just to poke around at that. That's because you got it. You would have to feel that way, right? Like, I don't know. Tell me what you think in the comment section. Put up on the internet, and they were saying it was like from the 1800s. So, yeah, man. When I, when you first moved over here, bro, like. Like, it was two white dudes, bro. Yeah. They cleaned this motherfucker out, bro. Yeah, that's what the, uh, I read a little article over there. They were saying that all this was all done. So, like, in, like, 2000 and, like, what? Probably about, like, five or something. Yeah. They said that they came over here and did all the work. Yeah. Yeah, man. It looked good, man. Shoot. Yeah. My house right next to the graveyard, yeah. So, you ever, uh, so it's funny, man. I, I deal with, like, ghosts <laughs> and stuff like that. I, that's why I go to cemeteries to see if anything like that is real. You living next to a cemetery like that, have you ever felt anything like supernatural? Or... First of all, let me, do you mind being on camera, bro? Nah. Yeah, bro. I have over 100,000 people on my YouTube channel, man. I wouldn't necessarily say ghosts is bad, like bad spirits, yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? So let me, before you even, before I even ask you that, do you believe in ghosts? No. You don't believe in ghosts? No. Okay. No. Okay. That's fair. That's yeah. fair. That but I really think, like, bad spirits, yeah. So let me ask you this then. What do you feel like is the difference between a ghost and a spirit? And just in your, in your mind, what is like, the difference? When you think of ghosts, you think about some, like, Casper types. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But spirits, like, bad energy okay and that's why i'm coming from with that got you got yeah. you and so you say living on the edge of this cemetery you feel that type of bad energy at times yes yes really most definitely yes okay let me ask you this then you feel bad energy do you ever feel good energy coming from me uh, we've been over here 24 years we had a lot of good times here so i have to say yeah so back to the bad energy you feel like what does that what does that look like like what does that feel like just like a lot of bad stuff start happening like then like they say this cemetery is is this not um it was a lot of rich slave owner that on here so really? i think yes like so i think that got to be because you gotta think it was built in the 1800s and, yeah and these gray stones are are Immaculate, like they are perfect. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was back in the 1800s, they got a lot of babies because you know they didn't have the proper doctor care, then you know, what I'm right? Saying? Right, so I, I noticed over here, it's two families over here, but it's like they lost about 10 or 12 kids, yeah. You know, it, it, it's a lot of them like that because they didn't have the technology and stuff, right? Back then. Right, right, yeah. right. Do you feel like a lot of that bad energy you feel could be coming from like the, the loss of well, okay, okay, the, the racism, the racism, yeah. and I was gonna ask about like the death of like all those children, man, and like maybe that's like causing sadness and mourning because you know most resting areas you think would be peaceful mm -hmm. is people transitioning, but shit, if you lost ten kids, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. what the hell does that feel like? Yeah, I. I feel like they got to probably do with it the the racism like yeah 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 so you so, so this land used to be owned by slave owners yeah so you feel like a lot of people buried here are maybe the slave owners yeah slave owner for sure okay now do you feel like there's any probably slave graves over here or are they probably buried somewhere else White people so dirty back in the day. Ain't no telling what they were doing. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> they probably feel like I'm there thinking rational. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Like they weren't built. They weren't put over here. No proper care. Yeah, you know yeah, 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 yeah. So I, I really can't answer that. And they so dirty. Like I can't even think when they live on that type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a crazy time back then, man. I visited a few uh, slave burial grounds in and around Atlanta. Mm. And it's wild, bro. It's wild. It's I wild. think these folks was called. Uh, got their last name somebody told me main interior some it's a family name that's around here but these were the family right here 
Got you. Yeah. Got you. Got you. Man, I appreciate that, man. Thank you, bro. My name's Daylin, man, by the way. What's your name? Juan. What's his what? Juan. Juan? Yeah, what's your name on YouTube? Daylin Spratt. So it's my name. D-A-L-E-N. And then S-P-R-A-T-T. Yeah, pull it up, man. Check us out, man. We literally, that's what we do. We we go all over the country. We stop at graveyards, man. And yeah, man, we, we look at yep, D-A-L-E-N. And then the last name is Spratt. S-P-R-A-T-T. S-P-A-R. S-P-R. That's some right there. That first one. Okay, I'll check you out, bro. Yeah, bro. Check me out, man. Okay. Appreciate it, man. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, man, listen, bro. We, we moved over here in 2000, right? Yeah. Uh, I went to prison like in like 01. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got out of prison in 06. Yep. Guess who stayed right here in this house, right here? Who was that? Gucci, man. Oh, he stayed over here? Yeah, Gucci stayed in this neighborhood right here. That 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 child was on the floor, pissed on the couch. That that first song. Hit, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was right there. That house right there. That is funny. Yep. That's funny. But no, nah, man, I appreciate you, man. I'm yep. gonna go check out this cemetery, man, to see what else I can find over here. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's very big. I was trying. I was about to walk around with these white folks be walking around with their dog loose, man. <laughs> I understand, man. <laughs> Yeah. Man, I wish they could show you a before and after, man. You can't even look through this, like. Yeah, yeah. Before. Dang, man. How long did it take for them to clear all this stuff out? Yeah, it took about a good two years before it finally oh, wow. started looking for, like, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. So they, like, that's telling you how long, you know what I'm saying, like, because... I'm trying to say like all these folks family probably died out like the people they family now probably don't even know they exist you know what I'm saying like, yeah right right this whole time we've been living over here I've probably seen probably like 10 maybe 10 visitors over here oh really yeah. I've seen people just walking in through here they probably just people just, just people in the like, using it like a park and all yeah, that huh? exactly walking through here uh, oh you can walk straight through to get to the other side yeah uh, okay even on our street, they kind of they used to three houses on this side, three houses on that side. Got you, got you, got you, got you. Well, that's solid, man. But one, bro, I appreciate you, Brody, man. All right, bro. All right man, be safe, man. Yeah. Oh, wow, here go more Terry's. Y'all, okay. look at this. I'm trying to walk back to the Terry plot. Oh, I passed it. I was like, dang, I couldn't find them. But I stumbled upon. This is the clay plot. Look at all these children. You got. Passed when 1894. Otis passed away in 1902. He was four. Infant, another baby. Another baby. That's one, two, three, four, five. Y'all, six. Ah, oh, he passed away on my birthday. I wonder what was going on in March around that time. Like, what was happening in March for all these people to be dying around in March? And y'all, tell me one was not one. <laughs> hey, man. One is a real... And that's Atlanta. <laughs> that's Atlanta. And I'm going to leave the whole thing in the video, y'all. I'm going to leave the whole interaction in the video. But, yeah. 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 One say this is <laughs> one say this is old slave uh, owner ground, and he is not happy about it. <laughs> he say it is the spirits of the racist slave owners that's given the bad energy, sending it towards his house. 
And you know what's crazy? <laughs> he might not be wrong. <laughs> he might not be wrong. And clearly, clearly, you white folks walking your dogs through the park, <laughs> y'all kind of sketchy to him too. <laughs> y'all, when he said that, I damn near fell out. <laughs> he said the white people walking their dog. Like, damn one, they can't walk their dog one. <laughs> I can't even tell you I got two. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just playing, y'all. That's funny. We need more people interaction, y'all, when we do these shifts. Because, I mean, hey, man, we be all over the country, man. Different people say and think different things. But here, I want to do a quick session by the Terry's. Well, now that I kind of know, well, per uh, historian one, <laughs> who's black, by the way, <laughs> never met a black one. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, that's funny. Y'all, leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. I was like, hey, what? You weren't walking through this cemetery at first, brother. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. But look, but now we know per historian one that it was, you know, a lot of kids passed away by like what we initially thought. Sickness. You know what I mean? So, I mean, maybe it really doesn't really matter to ask that question, but I still want to check in on the parents and see how they dealt with it. Love, love, love. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Dalen. Back like I never left. And we are here in the Sylvester Cemetery. This is new for us. This is right smack dab in the middle of apparently <laughs> a very mixed neighborhood. <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah. Some residents feel like there's bad energy surrounding this place and exuding from this place. I don't feel that. I haven't felt that as of yet. But what caught my eye and what was mentioned to me was that there are a lot of children that are buried here. A lot. And this was one particular family plot that really caught my eye. It was the Terry family with Newton and Marietta and all of their children. So my name is Dalen. I come in love, peace, and respect. I would love to speak to anyone that would love to speak to me. Terry family. I just noticed you resting with a lot of your children. And I just kind of wanted to ask you a few questions if you didn't mind, if you don't mind. I won't take up much of your time. Do you mind if I, if I ask you a few questions? Helping. 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 Oh, sorry. She was. So. Mr. and Mrs. Terry, how do you how do you like resting in this rest in this resting community? Is this is this a peaceful community? One upstairs. You're here resting with a lot of your family. Was it always the plan for the entire Terry family to rest together? Mr. and Mrs. Terry, I see that you lost a lot of children. Can you tell me why that was? Was it due to the medical conditions back then? Oh. 
I know every loss probably felt worse than the one before. So to ask you, well, Miss Marietta, how do you feel? When you were going through that back then, what were you thinking? Hey, Mary Ellen. Did you think? Let me ask you this question. I know you're with, you're with all of your children now, so I know you're happy, right? Her black guy. So during the time all of this was going on, did you feel like it was almost like a curse? How did you cope? Only say. My car is over there by itself and I heard somebody close a car door. Hold on, yo. Hey man, there's somebody else coming. That was uh, they have cameras too. I guess everybody trying to film here today. But I know I heard a car, a car door shut. So man, I was like, hold on, man, Big Red over there by herself. <laughs> Terry family, is everything okay on your end? This is why. This is why. How was the greeting from your children when you met them once you transitioned over? Is there any bad energy in this wrestling community? I said a little. That's fair. Do you know where that bad energy is coming from? Yes. Where is it coming from? The tenants? Run sadly. candy. Run sadly. Is there someone that doesn't want me here? You say the list is long? That's funny, but very rude. <laughs> Well, see how. get out, heathen. I heard my name, Daylin. Get up. Should I leave now? Is someone telling me that I should leave now? Yeah. 
Miss Marietta, it's not y'all that want me to leave, is it? It's not funny. Somebody says it's not funny. Who doesn't want me here? Me. But can you tell me why you don't want me here? You know. Is it because of my color? Yeah. Hey, a whole bunch of people say yeah. 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 Oh my gosh. All right, so I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Something just, I feel like something just stung us. Y'all, it felt like a bee sting, a pinch, it was a sharp, sharp pain. Did something just poke me? Hey, I done cracked my iPad. Did someone poke me? You accepted it. Is that you affecting my head? Whatever's here, please stay. Please stay. Please stay. Please stay here. This is your home. This is your home. Ah. I'm out, y'all.
I'm out.